Okay, this is the our second video uh, in a series of young boys' haircuts and young men's haircuts that we're going to show a little different cut than we did the last time. This is still going to be a two, maybe a one. We have to decide. It may go a little bit shorter. But with this cut, we're going to leave all this length on the top. So this is the start of it. We're going to go very simple. We're going to cut a little more hair in through here. We're going to leave a little more length in through this area. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm taking a clip. I'm getting it out of the way. You may want to wet the hair a little bit if it's easier for you, but we're just going to do it with the clip, okay? Again, I've taken my clippers. These are Oster Clippers, Oster if you're from the Midwest, Oster Clippers, and we're going to use a number two blade, like I did in my last video. If we decide to go back, we can always go a little bit shorter. We can't go longer, we're going to go shorter. So we'll start again the same way I started the last video. We're going to go up the middle, very close. Diego likes his hair close. He's my grandson, by the way, and we were at his house. This haircut would normally cost a little more money at home. It's free. And moms and dads, you can all do it. We're going up the middle. We're going up slowly. With this haircut, I'm not just stopping at the occipital. I'm going into the head and rounding, going with the round of the head. What this does is, for him, it creates a buzz in through here. He doesn't have to wear it longer. You either have to cut it very short here, or you leave it a little bit longer. So we're cutting it very short, and we're going in. The right half is done. I'm coming up again on the left half, going into the head. But look where I stop. I stop right there where the hair is a little bit longer, because he wants to be able to comb it over. That's his style. Somebody else may want it cut like this all over their head. Come in, come up, get rid of that hair. The only problem you're going to have with these cut at home haircuts is you're going to have hair on the floor. So it's best to keep dogs and cats and children away from it because they'll just step in it. And hair, as you know, is a pain. Any of you that have pets at home know that it can be a real pain in the neck. I just cut right through this. And I go look at it again. I'm going back over the back. Back over, I release that hair. Sometimes you can knock it a little bit with your comb, comb, just go through. Now you can see the nice structure I'm getting in the back. It's smooth. Just like I told you, it's like plowing a field. You go very slowly, and I'm going in. And then I'm creating a line right here. You can see that. I'm creating a line. For our purposes, the back is finished. We're just going to go back and even it out after. Now I'm going to go up on the sides. In my last video, I went up and I stopped at the curvature of the head. With this type of cut, you're going to see how I'm going to make an actual part line. So I'm going up and I'm going over the round of the head. See it? I'm just going over like that. And we're creating a whole other type of hairstyle. Very fashionable, very cool, very sharp. You see an awful lot of millennials loving this haircut. It looks really good, short, and with maybe even a beard. <laughs> I'm going to the other side now. I'm gonna do the same thing. Remember in the beginning of my video, I clipped this area up so it's out of my way. So I'm going up, simply up, straight up, and I'm going into the round of the head. That's what makes this haircut stand out. Go into the round and knock some off. You have to knock it off because it'll just build up on that blade. And my, my blade is all the way up, and it's two. Now, as I go along, I'm looking, I'm making sure that I don't get any marks. It's just very simple, very neat. Now, in here, remember, I cut this part at the round of the head. I'm going to do the same thing here. I cut this part at the round of the head. Right in. See how that's beginning to form? I comb it down, get the hair out of the way. Same thing again. I go back in. Sometimes in a haircut, you have to go in multiple times to get the look that you want. On his hair, I want to get in there a few times. And as I cut, I cut short because I want to build this part up. I want the center part that I've clipped off up. 
The, the, the thing with this haircut is I'm showing it as a boy's haircut. I'm showing it as a young man's haircut. But guess what? A lot of women today love to have their hair cut like this. And you see, you see very, very fashionable women, if you look at the magazines, fashionable young women with not just long hair, but with these type of cuts. Sometimes they just do one side. If you see the, the pictures where the hair is long on one side and short on the other, same thing. So it's very, very versatile. Now as I cut here, I want to cut a little more into the round. I'm holding my comb up. That helps me get that hair out of the way. Now look at this. It's cut in. It's only a little bit sticking out here. And you notice I'm gunning into the hair and I'm leaving the guard on. You know why? It's a guard for a reason. When you go in and if you take this off, I'll show you. As you take this off, this is what you end up with. And you know when you have, end up with that, that's going to cut a lot of hair. This is my safety zone, okay? I'll take it off later though for you and show you. Now I'm going to take this hair down. You can stop right there. Right across. I'm holding it like this very up, not digging into the head. That hurts them. I'm just gonna go right in and just cut it like a natural haircut. That's my that, that's my guard dog. He, uh, he <laughs> while I'm cutting hair, you might have the same thing at your house, where the dog hears uh, hears a leaf fall from the tree and has to go out. But pay it no mind. It's just part of the distraction of doing a home haircut. That's nice and neat here. I can double check it. Just go back in again, up very slowly. Everything is done slowly. Here, I'm gonna to go to the side, do the same thing on this side. Neatly, slowly. Go back over to this side. Neatly, slowly. And it's all falling into place. Now, he indicated to me that he wants this part in the top of the head to be buzzed fairly short. I'm going to go back in. Whoops. Go back in. And cut that a little bit shorter because it grows out a little bit faster than the rest of his head. So I'm just going to go straight across, dig in a little bit. See how that more hair is coming off. Dig in a little bit. Now, one of the things that might happen doing this haircut, the, um, you may find that your child needs a little, has to be done a little more often. Well, if it's not costing you 25 or 30 bucks, it can be done a little more often. Guess what? It's only the electricity that you're using on the clipper, right? Mm -hmm. So think of it that way. Don't go ahead and don't worry about Gee, did I, do, do I have to cut it again next week or the week after? 15 minutes of your time. And you know what I found? It's a good little bonding time for you and your child. You bond, you know, I've had many, many customers over the years, they bond with me because I cut their hair. Guess what? They'll bond with your kids, they'll bond with you. So it's a good thing. Okay, for this part of the video, we're going to do the top. I have two types of scissors I'm going to use. I'm going to use my small shears. And I'm going to use my long shears. Long shears create a little more of, of an effect of uh, taking the hair off smoothly. The short shears tend to chop into the hair. They work great for cutting around the ears and making small cuts. So to do this top section, as you've seen before, we've got this much hair to work with. Now, this is a matter of judgment. So my first judgment is I'm going to hold this hair up in the back. I'm gonna very slowly take clips right off. Same thing again, I'm going across. You can see what I have to cut. Now some of you may have a hard time holding the comb in your hand. So my suggestion is when you do this, comb it through, put your comb down on the counter like I just did on the kitchen counter and cut straight across. Hopefully you're able to cut a straight line. I've taught many, many hairdressers this haircut. Some do not know how to cut a straight line. So have whoever's in your house doing this haircut, uh, somebody that's a good sewer or a good artist in school like that, have them do this and cut this. The other thing that happens with this haircut that I've seen is 
guess what? I've seen mother and fathers cut this hair. The father's very good with the clippers and he goes through and the mother's goes through and do, does what I'm doing right here. Very good cutting straight lines. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're going right across. Now that section in here where I said it's the round of the head, we're gonna go real close. I'm gonna take that round right off. Now as I'm cutting, you can see the dry ends are falling all over the place. This is where you take your towel, you put it down. We don't want our person to be uncomfortable, okay? They don't want to be uncomfortable. So you can hold on to this and you use it when you need to use it. Just put it under the cape. Okay. So now we're going to do something very interesting. We're going back and looking right here. Remember what I said? We're going up. Now this time we're going to hold it scissor over comb. Look. And right here, we're going to hold it up with our hands. And then I'm going to do a little bit of fancier cutting in through here. It doesn't, you don't have to do this. You can go straight up and it's fine. I'm just making sure to just give it a little bit of a different look. Can you see it? It's a different look. I'm going to go back in again. Different look. This is for those of you who are watching this who might be hairdressers. And you want to learn how to really do a real easy but beautiful cut. Mom and dad can do this too. This is not rocket science, right? There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to go back now and we're going to do some cleaning up. I'm going to show you one simple trick. I'm going to hold this hair back. I'm going to cut the part into his hair. This is where my smaller scissors come in. I'm just going to come in, make the line. Many of you have seen uh, videos where the hairdressers and the barbers cut arrows into the hair or they cut uh, lightning bolts. The same thing. I've cut hockey players, hockey pucks to his hair. And those of you who are watching this who are hairdressers, you might have a pair of shears like this. These are notchers. I'm going to notch this out a little bit. Um, and this is for the advanced hairdressers. We're going to notch it out. Because I know many of you who watch these videos are regular hairdressers. I've seen, you know, I've gotten a response from some of you. So that's what this is. Now, if you're at home, you don't need to do this. You can create the same effect with gel um, after. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to comb it through. I'm going to look at it. Looks really cool. You can see how it's coming this way. I'm going to do a little more up in here. A little more in the front. Looking really good on him. And you can brush your own face if you want. Get that off your head. So now we're going to send again, as we do in our videos, we're going to uh, send him. He's going to go to the bathroom. He's going to gel his hair out. And we're going to see the finished product. And Diego went to the bathroom. He gelled his hair up. I'm just going to make sure... It's kind of neat because, let's face it, the guys like it neat. Look at that. Look at that line. Take your fingers. You can bring it up. Put a little bit of hairspray if you want. Look at how nice that looks. Look at how it falls in. And you look at the part. And we just kind of leave that loose. We get yourself a great haircut at home. Saved ourselves 25 bucks, maybe 30 in some of your, your areas. And it looks really handsome on him. He's happy, we're happy. See you next time.